welcome back everybody it's your fair chef here little cheesy how's everybody doing today i am doing fantastic myself welcome back to another episode of restaurant tutorial on tuesday and today's uh episode i'm going to be teaching you how to make a lava bridge trap to protect yourself at your base so if you guys like uh, my restaurant tutorial videos don't forget to smash that like button it uh, really shows that you guys like my videos and it shows by showing your support for them. And all you newcomers out there, if you want to see some more awesome wrestling tutorials, subscribe to me and stay tuned every Tuesday and you'll see an awesome wrestling tutorial made by me. It could be anything. Y'all never you never know what I'm gonna build next. So with that being said, let's get started today's episode, guys. Alright guys, here we broke we're back. Here is the bridge I made. Now you can make this bridge any way you want it. It don't have to be made of cobblestone and you don't have to have stairs going up right here if you don't want to, but pretty much what you do is, you know, you walk across your bridge, you know, you're, oh, they don't want to place the rest on down. <laughs> you know, you go across safely, and then if you have, like, somebody following you, if you got a whole bunch of mobs following you, just press this button right here, opens up the floor, and you got a lot of trip down there, so if it follows you in, it'll fall right down. And, and all you do is press the button again to close it back up. And you can walk back across safely. And I'll show you this button works too. If I can press it. Opens back up. And it closes back up. So. Simple. It's real simple to build. It's easy. And it doesn't take too much time to do. Not that many resources. So. show you the build. I'll go around and show you on the outside how I built everything. Now I built it above ground to showcase what you need, what how to build this for the tutorial sake. But you can build this in the ground so your bridge can be level with the ground and have the ground open up instead. Or you can make a bridge like this and have like staircase going up to it and the staircase going down if you want to elevate it in there like I did and have your buttons. But it's simple. That all you gotta do, and I made it seven seven wide. But if you guys want to make it longer or shorter, you guys can. But I recommend at least building like three or four wide so players can't jump across it uh, without falling in. Because if we build like two wide, then players have a better chance of jumping over it and missing the lava. So I recommend like three or four blocks wide at least so players can't jump across it. But that being said, I'll show you how to build it right now. So if I can find a nice little spire, thanks for But the way you build this, guys. It's very simple. What you gotta do is build yourself for this tutorial second. I'm gonna do a uh, seven by like I have to do it before. Just give you some uh, cobblestone or whatever block you want to use your choice. Just makes a nice little like a little pit here. Like I said, you don't have to be above ground, but I'm gonna build above ground like I did that one just to show you where all the rest stones at and how the rest stone works on it so and, rec and I'm recommending building your pit at least like four blocks deep before the lava so players can't jump out of it so they can die and mobs oh no it's not how I want it come on why, why is this very being touchy today okay there we go Alright, then what you want to do is grab yourself a lava bucket now. Come down here. Well, no, not there. This game is being real touchy. I'm sorry, guys. Move that lava. I don't want that lava there. What you want to do is put it in the bottom, not the top like this. So, go around here and... Not again. Make sure it's all filled in. It's not flowing. So the lava is stationary. Just like that. And then what you want to do is grab your block of choice again. Come out over here. Build for where the entrance from the lava is. Now you don't have to worry about doing the outside right here. Just build from where the entrance of the hole starts. Build out 
two blocks. Do the same thing on the other side. Now like I said the you can make this big as you want it, small as you want, you know the possibilities are up to you. Don't matter. Now once you do that, you want to grab your sticky pistons. Place them not the first block, but the second block back, pretty much in the middle. Bring them all the way like this. Same to the other side. Now what you want to do is grab yourself some redstone dust, put it on top of your pistons, hook those up, and put them behind them like this, so it should look like that when they're all hooked up with redstone. Do the same thing for the other side. And then what you want to do is grab your block of choice, what you want to use for your flooring. Put it in front of the pistons like this. <clears throat> then what you want to do. Let me see. Let me check this one out real quick. Okay, build two. Now what you want to do is build your T-flip flop. Now it can be any T-flip flop you want to use. It don't matter where you're most comfortable with in the T-flip flop you build. But I like to build the one I showcased in my last video because it's the most simplest and compact T-flip flop I've ever seen. And I just love using it. It's not hard to build. It's very simple. It doesn't cost me resources. It's need just a... Um, a dropper, a hopper, like a pair and some repeaters, and that's pretty much it. So, then what you want to do is bring, but a dropper, what you want to do is, I'm going to put some of this down just for the, make sure I have enough room. Put a dropper. Which way is it again? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot about those guys. Okay, we'll put a dropper facing this way. No, not right there, but facing your way. Then have them face one up. Crouch down. Put one on top one that's facing up, facing you this way. Then grab yourself a hopper. Make crouch down make sure it's on this drop it right here not this one you want to go in down and down like that and then what you want to do is grab yourself an item put in this hopper just one item don't matter or drop our mint not hopper and then you want to get yourself a comparator okay I'm gonna need some more room here don't have there we go I do have room okay put it like that oh fly up put it right there and have a repeater coming out like this I probably built this way too close so I'm sorry guys oh no no that's the lava put that back <laughs> all right can I break this one nope that's lava too okay I want to scoot this back real quick I'll be right back guys All right, I, put, I scoot it back now so you have more room. Now, if we build your T flip flop, make sure you guys give yourself enough room to do it, make it. Then, what you want to go do is put your repeater right here for your T flip flop and put a repeater out this way. Well, that grab some rust on dust, make it come off the repeater. Then, now you want to bring it up to here to your rust on dust hook to your pistons like this. So you can activate it with a button. Part to scoot that back up. Anyway. 
might be too close. Okay. Let's try this again. Alright, there we go. Make sure that it's connected to your uh, pistons. Like so. And then you want to do the same thing for this side. I think that's far away enough. Let me check this out. Yeah, it's perfect right there. Hopefully it works. I never connected like that. Always connected coming out straight. Because you want the rest on the desk to come out this, but I never put down some sides. So I'm hoping this works still. And then what you want to do is, if you want to, go ahead and cover this up so you can put your and put a block here just for so you need repair going into this bottom dropper. Then you hook your redstone dust up and have your buttons come out from here from both sides. So what I would do it don't matter. Hook a button system up. No, not there. Some way figure out how to run your redstone up, up around to like I did over here to work at least your button. See my button here. I got redstone coming out like this, going down, down here, come out this that repair because this is where you're uh, where you're going to uh, activate your T flip flop so you can use the button. You don't have to use a button. You can use a lever if you want, but I think buttons are better in my opinion. So let's see if I press this button, will it work? No, because the redstone dust is hooked to the side of the, this pier down here. Okay, so somehow we gotta make this dust connect to this repeater. So. I want to make this a little bit smaller than I intend to, guys, so be right back. Alright, guys, I made this a little bit smaller. Okay, so. After I did that, because you want the rest on dust from your T flip flop if you want to use this one to come out the repeater in front. You don't want to come out to the sides because it's not going to work. You want to come out in front. And then you wrap it around, hook it up to your pistons on both sides. And then you want your rest on dust to come out the back of this repeater going to this dropper to use your buttons for your T flip flop. Okay. And then let's see. If you have to, you might have to use a couple more repeaters to extend the redstone dust signal so it can reach the, all the pistons. So they all can be powered at once. So, what I'm going to do is probably. Let's see. Probably going to have a repeater right here. And then right there. Let's put one right here. I don't want to affect the others. No, not compared to a repeater. There we go. So then after you hook running redstone dust up to your button where you want your button to be, I'll just put it right here for this purpose. So when you press the button, it will close the pistons will uh, turn on. We'll close the walkway so you can safely walk through. And after that you can just go ahead and button it up if you want. Clean it up a little bit and make this like a little walkway right here so it won't be too noticeable. But I'm not going to do the whole thing because I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to figure out how to clean it up and make your bridge look better, especially than mine. <laughs> Mine's sloppy, but so then you press the button again, opens it back up, and you got your loft pit. So, so much chasing, you just go like this. Come through and then come around, put your button right here, hook it up. 
which I'll show you real quick, or do real quick for you guess. Or you say you're coming this way, it don't matter. Like I said, it's a T flip flop, so buttons will work both ways. Run back, and if someone's following you, come hurry up and press this button. Opens up, and they fall right in and get trapped and die. Now, I say the button don't have to be here, it could be anywhere you want it. You just have to have the rest stone dust connect to it. So, if you want, you can have your button up here, or on the sides, or on top, or below you like this on the ground. It don't matter where, but. But that's how you build a redstone lava bridge trap, guys. It's pretty simple. I'll go through it over this one again. So what you want to do is have your pistons, redstone dust on top, then come off this back of them right here. Then have it going down and hooked up to your T flip flop. Now, like I said, it don't matter what T flip flop you use, but as long as you have it coming out. But this is for use this T flip flop. We're in three droppers. You got one facing this one facing that way. You got this one going up, and you got this one facing that way. As you see, in a hopper going down with an item in here. It don't matter what item it is, as long as it's one item. A competitor coming out from this dropper with a wrist rest on repeater, and dust come off the repeater to power it. The rest of when you press the button, then make sure and then have that redstone dust that's come off this repeater from your T flip flop hook up to your pistons. And like I said, you might have to use a repeater like I did here to extend the, sing the signal so it can reach all the way down to your pistons. So it can all activate them all at once. And then your the side of where you want to push that button, so the input side or button input side for the T flip flop, you got to have a repeater going in your bottom dropper and rest on dust coming out of it. And then hooked up to where run, hooked up to where you want your button to be at. Don't matter where. And to run the button to the other side, just do what I just did here. Same thing, just take it, hook, come off from the side of it, and then have it run either underneath it or above it. Don't matter where you're running at, but make sure it runs all the way over here, and then have a button hooked up over here on this side. Like I say, money or peer to extend that signal, because I don't think that signal will go away that reach that far, but it's. But that's how you do it, builder guys. Pretty simple and easy, not too hard to build. Got a nice little safe bridge to stop players from chasing you or coming across in your base or mobs coming in. You can leave it open to protect yourself so when you can come back and press the button to close it to walk across and you get back in the house. Press it and open it up again if you want. But simple as that. Now like I said, I'm not going to clean this up and make it look good like that a little bit. but Because I'm pretty sure y'all guys are smart enough to figure out how to do that. But if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to smash that like button. I'm going to try to break 15 likes for this uh, rest on tutorial bridge I made. It really shows good you guys liked it. Uh, like my rest on tutorials when you uh, smash that like button. So I appreciate it when you do. If you guys want to continue seeing more rest on tutorials, to stay, uh, subscribe, stay tuned. Every Tuesday I've been making one. But that is going to do it for all today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video I made. And now, as always, I bid you all farewell. And this is Little Cheesy signing out, guys. See ya. Peace out.